Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT for your branding, whether it's for personal or business? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant company here in the Philippines to XU, and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, in the last couple of years, honestly, since I was 15, I have been growing different parts of brands for myself. Uh, it's mostly because I've liked the idea of using pseudonyms. And of course, now lately, I've just been growing my own like actual personal brand in the last couple of years. Before that, I had something called The Imperfect Princess where I was publishing a lot of fiction books. I also had Traveling Pygmy as a brand at one point where I was doing a lot of traveling and doing a lot of travel tips. And now, of course, as Leanne, I've been doing a lot of videos and content on how to outsource and now how to use ChatGPT to do it. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step like how I would if I was gonna rebrand myself again, how I would do it using ChatGPT. And I would still go through step by step how to do it yourself as well, even without ChatGPT, of course. So the first thing that I always tell people when it comes to getting them to start their own brand or grow their brand is what is your goal? What is the thing that you're going toward when it comes to building your brand? Is it to one, maybe grow your business? That's usually the most common thing is to grow something or monetize it in some way, but having the content drive towards that monetization. Two, is it to make money directly? Are you going to be selling things? Are you going to be, you know, your aim is to be an affiliate. Like for me, I have multiple tools that I'm an affiliate of that I've done a lot of videos on. So is it that? Or is it just for fun or for you to build your own influence? You have to be very clear at the very start of what that goal is because that's gonna drive everything else that you do for your brand. So it's really important. And if it's not too clear, just pick one of those that I have lined out. Like, is it for your business? Is it for fun? Is it for influence? Is it for direct doing sales and affiliates later? So pick and choose from one of those four. But it's important to start somewhere because then again, that directs where you're gonna go with this whole journey. I've seen a lot of people make the mistake of just stumbling into it. And then when they're there, they have no idea where to go, what their intentions are. So as you're here watching this video, hopefully you have a little bit more intention to begin starting and growing your brand. Next is you have to keep in mind who your target audience is. Who are the people that you are going to be creating this content for? Now, when I started this YouTube channel, I was talking a lot to my sisters because they were trying to learn how to work from home. Uh, so a lot of my very early content was very basic. What I would what I would say are basic, you know, virtual assistant or work from home things like I did videos videos on how to get interviews, how to respond in interviews, how to apply for jobs, how to show up. So there were a lot of that content in the very beginning. Of course, sometimes I do refresher videos, but I do a little bit of both where I'm talking to people who want to become virtual assistants and who want to hire virtual assistants because there's a lot of overlap there, guys. So that is my own target audience as I'm growing my brand. Now for you, if you're not clear with that, let's now jump into using ChatGPT. So if you've never seen ChatGPT before, this is kind of the current way. It used to be that you can't actually hide these windows, but I love it that you can because it makes it cleaner as you guys are going through these videos. Uh, but if you haven't used ChatGPT before, I have a ton of videos. Uh, but basically it is an AI language model. It talks like a human. It gets information from the internet, froze in 2021, but now if you upgrade into ChatGPT4, which is the paid, you get more. Anyway, just sticking to the basics for this one. Uh, so whenever you start a ChatGPT, uh, I call it thread, like a chat thread. A mistake I see a lot is that people usually just jump into just chatting what it is that they ask, but I really encourage that you prime ChatGPT first. And I prime it using the WO method. So the WO method is basically W is who you are, what you do, O is the outcome, A is just asking it, are you ready? And then H usually is for a how. So if you want it to be really short answers, funny answers, intelligent answers, up to you. The H is really more suggestive, uh, but as an example, so let's say on creating your target audience, so I just put here, I'm a content creator and consultant with an expertise in chat GPT and outsourcing. So this is me, you know, if I was going to rebrand myself again, I need your expertise in creating my overall brand for myself and my business. Are you ready? And usually it'll say, yep, you know, these are now the steps that we can go through, defining a brand's purpose and values, identifying target audience, which is what we just said, uh, crafting of compelling brand story, develop a memorable visual identity, create engaging content, leverage social media. It'll walk you through step by step of like how it would do it for you. But 
it's and it's very similar to how I'm gonna walk you through these steps anyway so to be able to get your target audience this is the prompt that I encourage you guys would use uh, my current target audience are women service-based entrepreneurs in Australia can you write up a more detailed target audience profile, including their pains and why they would need my services? So with that, as I'm building, again, that brand, I already have a goal. Um, let's say my goal for this is to start my consulting business. And then it's a little bit clearer for me where I want to go. And I have the vision of, I kind of want to work with these kinds of people. So then I'm asking ChatGPT to write out a clearer audience profile. So the reason why it needs to be really clear for you to know who you're talking to is when you're looking at the camera like I am right now, I'm imagining I have this image of who you are as a person and I'm editing myself as I'm speaking of what would basically work on you, what would make you want to watch this video more rather than you watching some other video. So it makes it clear as you're creating content, as you're building your brand, as you're putting yourself out there, who you're talking to, which makes it easier for you to target these people right off the bat. Now, going back to ChatGPT, so it has written out a lot of the things that I asked it for. So it gave me a really good target audience profile. You know, it gave me the age. The business is like provide services rather than physical products business size so this is perfectly like I didn't even give it a lot of information of who my target audience is but this is actually it uh, pain points is time management scaling challenges marketing and branding workflow optimization client acquisition and then how your services address their needs it actually also walks you through that so it's a pretty cool way for you to also just get clarity right off the bat on your target audience and who you're talking to and of course like I mentioned it's one of the more important things right off the bat of creating your brand next step is going Ahead and creating your own brand voice and story so one of the things that I've learned when it comes to building your brand is you need to have a good story that backs it up so for example for me I just have this life where I've been working from home since I was 15 years old so I've been in the outsourcing world for so long became an entrepreneur myself when I was 23 I'm now 27 with 2XU as my business. So I have, I'm lucky enough that my, my story does align to where I am now. So find those little bits of your story. How are you going to pitch? Like look at the momentous occasions in your life where you had, you know, you changed trajectory or you stayed at the trajectory you were at and it brought you this. So try to find bits and pieces of that for yourself because then that also creates your brand voice. So for example, for me, my brand voice is very educational, very straightforward and clear. That's always what I want to do in these videos and also in the same content for my vlogs, for the Instagram posts, TikTok, all of that. It's all pillared on those three things. So being educational, clear and basically giving you a sense of direction of what to do next. Actionable in a different word. So for ChatGPT, if you're having a hard time on figuring out, okay, what would my brand voice be like? You can also just use ChatGPT. So let me paste that on here with my service target audience and the goal of my business what would be the ideal brand voice to appeal to my target audience so putting that on there it's gonna go you know you should be professional approachable supportive empowering these are uh, and then authentic positive so it'll give you a bunch of words but I really encourage that you stick to three like a central for myself because then that gives you kind of just the a good way to capture what your brand voice is and also what your writing style or your content creation style would be later on that can be easily delegated to someone else because that's the goal eventually is you'll just be focused on creating a lot of the content the first part of the content then being able to delegate all of the other parts of creating your content to someone else so when you have a very clear brand voice it's going to be easy for you to give that to your person next thing you want to do when you're creating your brand whether it's for personal or business is creating your brand guidelines and what a brand guideline is is it's a way for you to be able to consistently show up for whenever you're on social media, speaking in person, networking, you have a guideline in your head of like, oh, this is how, or this is who I want to be known as, or this is how I want my business to be known as. So as a very quick example for 2XU, our brand guidelines is that we're clear, 
it's a lot of straight lines and we're also very also educational it's the same thing as mine because there had to be that overlap of 2xu and my brand because it is my business so I, that's the thing that we keep in mind for when we're creating content when we're showing up when we're putting things out there so one of the brand guidelines also go into the kind of content that you create of like hey if we're choosing let's say out of this list uh, we're choosing professional supportive and empowering based on this like all of our content should sound like this that way we're easily recognizable to people so then to create your brand guidelines can you create the brand guidelines for my business and what else i would need to showcase my brand the brand voice i've picked is professional supportive and empowering so you're just grabbing the information it already gave you. It already knows a lot about you from what you've inputted before. So it can create that a little bit clearer for you. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, brand messaging, having a good mission statement, having the tagline, uh, and then on the tone and language, you know, on professional, supportive, empowering, that's the tone of language. Key messages, what would be key messages that you are going to be giving out? And then having your visual identity through your logo, color palette, so on and so forth creating your content guidelines, social media guidelines, and then the brand collateral. So this is now your guide basically of what else you can do and add into your brand. And you can ask, yes, you can ask ChatGPT to write each one of these, but I honestly really encourage that you be the start of this. ChatGPT can only do so much. It's more of just playing its own little guessing game and giving you its best answers as much as it can, but you have to be the one to add the different parts of your story. It's your life. ChatGPT can't know this. So one really quick way that you can even do this is what questions or information do you need from me to be able to create this brand guideline? So just really quick and easy if you have no idea where to start you can have chat gpt to ask you the questions uh so on brand vision mission what's the overarching vision and uh for your business on target audience who's your target audience so you have that now we can just copy and paste what is your unique selling proposition your visual preferences so on and so forth so chat gpt is already doing that one of the things you can literally do is copy these questions as an example paste it in and then just answer it like type in your answer right there and then send it back to chat gpt so then it has more of your brand your thoughts your content you've basically delegated your brand to chat gpt next thing that you want to start doing is now start to create your content calendar now when it comes to being a brand you need to be known by something you can't just say oh i am an expert in xyz but you're not showing it in some way so creating content is one of the key ways that you can show that brand that expertise that you're trying to build so creating your content calendar is the next step so what a content calendar is if you have no idea it's basically just the schedule of when you're going to put out content where and also what type of it like is it a video is it blog is it instagram gonna be up to you but we're gonna ask ChatGPT for best practices of what that could look like so on asking it to create a content calendar i would put in what would be an ideal weekly content calendar for my business as i create weekly youtube videos for education can you include the platforms and the kinds of posts to do for each platform so there i'm just asking it outright like hey can you create my content calendar for me now i have stuck to weekly content uh so it's easy for you to break down uh if you do monthly, you can definitely do monthly content. But for this, it's just us getting an idea where to start. Now, this is just on Monday, you know, post a YouTube video. Tuesday, create a blog around it. On Wednesday, create a LinkedIn post around it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and then creating a newsletter on Sundays. So this is just a really good starting point if you have no idea where to start with your brand. For me, when I started YouTube, basically, I had the YouTube video on Sundays and Thursdays, kind of like how I do it now. And then for on Mondays, basically, it will be turned into a Facebook post, an Instagram post. Tuesdays, it's a clip, basically, so on and so forth. So I had a more bigger... <laughs> 
aspirations when it came to my content calendar but you could definitely start with this you don't have to make it complicated for yourself just start with what's easy so then it becomes an habit moving forward next is as you have already your this is basically your weekly content calendar next thing you want to start doing is to make it more consistent is creating your year worth of content now it sounds very overwhelming but i have a way to break this down and make it easier so now that you have your target audience of who they are and i did get this from this amazing content creator as uh, she's a social media expert his name's Rachel Henderson, if I remember right. Hopefully, she it's the right woman. Uh, but she basically was talking about like, hey, if you want to create like monthly content, break down to what are the 12 pain points of your target audience. And then from there, you have now a monthly content for each one of those 12. And then for me, I've added the part where then break it down to weekly, what would be solutions that you would be talking about for that pain point. So here with ChatGPT, you can help make that a little bit easier for us. So I will copy in I'll copy this prompt already of, can you write up 12 biggest bottlenecks of my target audience? Again, it knows who your target audience is based on what you've talked about already before. And this is why it's important to do the priming of the woe method. Uh, but right there, here are the 12 bottlenecks of the target audience. So time management, scaling services, client acquisition, marketing, branding, blah, blah, blah. Um, so now this can be, again, my monthly content. So on, you know, right now it's June and July, I'll focus on time management as just the theme. Uh, scaling services is gonna be August, uh, September is client acquisition, so on and so forth. So it makes it easy for me to start thinking of what this type of content could be for me. But breaking it out further to weekly, I've asked you, can you break down each 12 into four possible solutions? Now, this might break chat GPT because it does have a limited number of words, um, but it's right there on solution on the time management. Solution one is basically uh, developing a time management system. So that could be my content for the first week of July. Second week of July is outsourcing non-core activities for third week is this so you now have this really consistent way of being able to create content because chat gpt literally creates that for you um, so it says continue just because it does have that limit so you can say you know can you break down for six uh, can you break down 6 to 10, 6 to 12, up to you. But that's easily how you can create your weekly content from year to weekly content with ChatGPT. Next, and if you remember, this is one of the things that ChatGPT actually said that you should develop for your brand is creating your tagline. So your tagline is just how you introduce yourself. If it, whether it's going to be on LinkedIn, so on social media, or how you're going to introduce yourself in person. It has to be a little bit consistent, so then it makes sense. So for example, for me, the way that I introduce myself to people is I'm Lee and Lila Kaba. I am the co-founder of 2XU, and we specialize in hiring and training AI-empowered executive assistants with our custom operating systems to be able to switch entrepreneurs from solopreneur to business owner. Now, it sounds like a little bit of a mouthful, but honestly, like it illustrates a lot on how I'm talking to people, I will change that of like, hey, yeah, I run a executive assistant agency from time to time, but then I can use that for my LinkedIn, for my Facebook, everywhere else. So again, there's that consistency. So for me, I will just type into ChatGPT of, can you create an effective LinkedIn tagline that I can use? Now, I've used the word LinkedIn just because there's a lot of information out there on how to create this uh, on it. So then I'm putting here, empowering women business owners to thrive and succeed. Now, how I developed my own tagline, it took me a lot of work. Uh, it took me going through this really amazing accelerator that I'm in called Dent. If you guys want to sign up, I'll put it in the link below. But basically, this is now something I can use, empowering women business owners to thrive and succeed. I can add more to this. Uh, I could put in through AI and outsourcing. I could add in through delegating uh, what doesn't make sense for them and focusing on their superpower. I could make this into any other way. But there has to be a good way, a quick and easy way that you can introduce yourself to people that will be consistent throughout all your social media channels. So this will become your bio. Next thing, so as you already have your brand guidelines, you have your content, you're starting to create content, the next thing you wanna make sure as you build your brand is to engage with your audience. And to use ChatGPT for that is honestly super easy. It's just putting up, uh, can you create a response to this comment? So as you get comments, as you get chats, as you get messages and emails, you can ask ChatGPT to create the response to them. But the reason why you wanna make sure that you engage is it's one of the ways where people can see and feel that you're a real person, that you're not just putting content out there. Um, so right there, it's just an, as the information that ChatGPT knows about you, 
it's already doing just that. So uh, that's basically how you can keep engagement up with the people they comment, the people who reply to you or send you messages uh, as you're growing your own brand. Next is of course you can start breaking down and getting best practices from ChatGPT based on what it knows about you. Now on the internet, there's a ton of best practices of how you can grow your own brand, whether that's you know getting podcast guestings, getting awards, uh, being able to grow a whole business around it. It's gonna be up to you, but you want to at least know what would be the best steps for you specifically. So based on what ChatGPT knows about you so far, what other steps can I do to grow my brand based on what you know so far? and it'll give you the best practices that it knows. So there is just defining your brand's unique value proposition, creating content strategy, which we now have a content strategy, your network and attend industry events. So you can then start taking action to this, to what makes sense to you and where you're at at this moment as well. And of course, lastly, honestly, one of the biggest things you can do so you can grow your brand is delegating your brand. So what do I mean by this? It's then finding what are the tasks that are repetitive that doesn't have to be necessarily done by you that you can give to someone else to a virtual assistant. So as a perfect example, so for me, I record these videos. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes um, every single time that I have to do it. Then the rest of the parts of this. So then I send this off to the amazing video editor that I have that gets chopped up into YouTube shorts or TikTok that you guys will be able to see. And then my assistant goes into creating a graphic for this, helps me break down what I should create a reel out of, and then reposting it everywhere, all of my platforms. She's the one who takes care of it. So what would that look like for you? What would be something that would make sense for you, for your brand? So asking ChatGPT how to do that. So what would be the processes that I can delegate to my virtual assistant for the ongoing growth of my brand? Now, the biggest reason why you want to do this is you want to free yourself up from those repetitive tasks that you don't have to be the one doing because it's going to just hurt you. The more that you dive yourself more into the admin tasks, you have to free yourself up in some way so you can focus on the thing that you do best. So right off the bat, it's social media management, as I said, uh, content creation and curation, email marketing, research analytics, this list, I have three assistants doing. Uh, so social media management for 2XU is different assistant versus for my own brand. Content creation and curation, I do the beginning, the rest are repurposed. Email marketing and newsletter management, same thing. Someone else takes care of it. Research analysis, someone else is taking care of this. Uh, customer support, that goes back and forth just because like I'm in charge of my own Instagram, for example. Project management, lead generation, event planning, a lot of these can be easily done by a virtual assistant. And if you are interested to make that next step, go ahead and fill in our readiness scorecard, which evaluates basically if you are at that point where you're ready to have a virtual assistant. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. Are you building a brand right now or are you growing it? I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a visit from home. So you guys can check out those two videos right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day over the small steps matters. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.